Welcome to the fermentation pilot plant at Norsheims in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'd like to introduce to you how we have developed a mechanistic model for enzyme production by filamentous fungi. In the current study, we are focusing on energy consumption and energy efficiency of enzyme production. We have varied the energy input from aeration, agitation and cooling from 1.5 to 15 kilowatt per meter cubed. The model is based on experimental data from nine submerged fit batch fermentations. The vessels have a volume of 550 liters and are equipped with powerful motors and modern sensors, control systems and a mass spectrometer for on and off gas analysis. The main difficulty of fermentation of filamentous fungi is the increasing viscosity of the fermentation broth. During fermentation, the viscosity increases from one pascal second, which is that of water, to 50 or even 100 times that of water. We are using a state-of-the-art rheometer to accurately determine the rheological parameters of the fermentation broth using a vein and cup geometry. The organism we are studying is a cellulase producing fungus Trichoderma rhesii. A 50% increase in viscosity means that the mass transfer coefficient KLA decreases with 85%. In this article, we show how we can model the progress of a fermentation in terms of key parameters such as biomass concentration, product concentration, and oxygen transfer rate. The central part of the model is a mass transfer correlation. In this work, we compare six different mass transfer correlations previously used in the literature. The model can be used to determine the energy efficiency at all the process conditions that we have applied. This means the simulations tools can be used for the optimization of the fermentation process. Our model is able to confirm the inverse relationship between the energy efficiency and the total energy consumption of the fermenter. In future work, by exchanging the mass transfer correlation, we hope to identify alternative technologies with higher energy efficiencies. You can check out the details of our study in the article. Thank you for watching this video abstract. You're very welcome to contact the authors using the information shown at the end of this video.